It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for 10. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for 10. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you and welcome to this special edition of Science Bowl. Special because the two teams you're about to meet have won once already. Today's winner moves on to the semifinals to play Glen Arden Woods. Let's meet today's teams. First, from Scotchtown Hills Elementary, would you please say hello to Jacob Hammond, Annie Nguyen, and Rhea Linton. I like that wave. And from Yorktown Elementary School, would you please welcome to the show, Kirik Johnson. Gabby Wilson and Aliyah Echapari. Now here are the categories of questions we use on the Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen sink. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. And here on the Science Bowl, our game board reflects question difficulty. Easier questions on the left, worth five and 10 points. Increasingly more difficult, 15, 20, and ultimately 25, the toughest of them all. Both of our teams start out with 50 points. We deduct no points for incorrect answers. At the end of the two rounds, as we were saying at the top of the show, one of these two outstanding schools will go on to play Glen Arden Woods in the semifinals. Let's go over and make sure everything is working properly. Any, would you try the red team's buzzer? All right, she has a good confident push over there. Good luck to you, to Rhea and to Jacob. And Gabby, how about the green teams? A-OK -okay as well. Good luck to you, to Kirik and to Aaliyah. Congratulations, guys. You've made it this far in the competition. We're going to have a good game. I can just feel it. We go alphabetically S before Y, so Scotch Town Hills. And Annie, let's play this bowl. Zoo prayed for five. Zoo prayed for five points. Teams, this is kind of a strange story. Dozens of these eager mammals were dropped into Idaho from an airplane with the hope that they would restore the dams on Idaho's rivers. Beavers. Yorktown. Beavers. Beavers, yes. Eager beavers. Green, go. Um, Dateline signs for 10. Deadline signs for 10 points. Teams, if you watched the Jurassic World movie, the Mosasaur that jumped out of the water was not a dinosaur, but like the Komodo dragon, it was one of these very large aquatic versions of these L-initialed reptiles. Yorktown? What you got? Never mind. Correct answer is lizard. Lizard. It was a giant lizard. Try again, please, green. Um. Zoo Parade for 10. Zoo Parade for 10 points. Teams, again, in Jurassic World, when the helicopter crashed into the aviary, what kinds of dinosaurs flew out? Bird. Yorktown. What do you say? Bird? No, not birds. Okay. Scotch Sun Hills. What flew out of the aviary in Jurassic World? They, what kind of flying? Pterodactyls? Pterodactyls, yeah, the pterodactyls flew out. Good, go, red. Um, body systems for five. Body systems for five points. Teams, you know, if you want to hear all the gossip, all you have to do is go on social media. But a long time ago, if you wanted to hear the gossip, you would put this sense organ to the ground, people would say. Yorktown? Ear. Put your ear to the ground, that's it. Go green. Dateline, no, science potpourri for five. Science Pope Brief for five points is a visual question. Look at the monitor in the studio, if you would, please. This famous painting by Edvard Munch is called The Scream. And look at that face. But look at the sky. The sky is orange and yellow and red. Because in the late 1800s, when Munch painted this, the volcano Krakatoa had just done this. Scotchtown Hills. Erupted. Erupted, yeah. So that's what they saw in the sky there. All of that ash 
that was from the volcano? Good answer. Thank you, Rhea. Go, Annie. Um, let's get physical for 10. Physical for 10 points. You know, teams, this chemical, if you add it to water, it will explode. But if you pair it with chlorine, it makes common table salt. Lithium. Not lithium, not lithium, no. What do you pair with chlorine? What kind of chemical that makes common table salt? A chemical that will explode on its own if it's dropped in water. Sodium? Sodium is right. Sodium chloride, absolutely. Well, you said that like you really weren't sure. That was a good answer. NaCl, sodium chloride, 75 to 60, advantage Scotch on Hills. Go. Go ahead, Annie. Body systems for 10. For 10 points in body system. Teams, there are five basic tastes. Umami, which is kind of savory like soy sauce. There is salty, there is sweet, there is bitter. And there's this one. What's the other basic taste? Sour. Yorktown. Sour. Sour, that's it. You got it. Thank you, Kirik. Go, Gabby. Um, do I want What? Scotchtown Hill. It's What's that? Scotchtown Hill got the point. The points? Did, did you get the points you were, uh, no. deserved there? No, we didn't. Okay. Judges will look at that and we'll change that score. And, um, 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 potpourri for 15. Double Science potpourri for 15 oh, points, and it looks like oh, we've made that yeah. score adjustment. It's 75 for Scotch on Hills, 70 for Yorktown, and you wanted? Um, science potpourri for 15. For 15 points. Teams, if you get a brand new iPhone 10, boy, you're going to pay a lot of money for it, but the picture is so clear that they have named it for what photosensitive area at the back of your eye? It's called, it is in super what? Yorktown. What you got? Retina. Retina, yeah, it's the super retina display, exactly. You guys are pulling these out of the hat like rabbits. Go, Yorktown. Dateline signs for 15. Dateline for 15 points. Seems your question is as follows. Back in the 1990s, newspapers around the world had a headline about Dolly the sheep. It was the first animal that had ever been what? Clone. Yorktown. Clone. Clone, yes, indeed. Made from the cell of another animal. Amazing. Our, oh, the buzzer says, we've come to the end of the first round. It was a quick one. Right now, Yorktown is at the century mark 100. Not far behind us. Scotch Dunn Hills at 75. We'll be back in just a moment. Welcome back to Science Ball. Hope you're enjoying this game here. I said the stakes are high because today's winner moves on to the semifinals to play Glenn Arden Woods. And, you know, eventually we crown a winner. We have a champ at the end of all this. And Yorktown was the county champion way back in 1998. So it has been 20 years before you were born when Yorktown last took the crown home. And Scotch Town Hills, you have come close so many times. And I know your, your sponsors would love you to win it this year. Annie, tell us about Scotch Town Hills. Who's the principal out there? Ms. Prevost. Wonderful. And the sponsors of your team? Ms. Taylor and Ms. Harvey. Wonderful. They work so hard to get you guys ready for this. And uh, all of you have gotten to play. All the alternates now are back on the set with you, Annie. Tell us something about Scotch Town Hills before I leave you here that uh, um, you like to brag about. Your school is, what is it about your school that's really great? Um, we like to recycle. Recycle. That's a wonderful we're a good, thing. We're a big green school. Ah, that's right. But see, now you're the red team. See, you used to be the green team over there. The red team is a good green team. I like to hear that. Annie, what do you want to do someday? Be a veterinarian. Veterinarian, yeah. And we were talking about your pets before. You, know, you have a dog and a cat, yeah? What's your dog's name? Um, his name is Bingo. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, Any now, Rhea and Jacob were alternates. Who are the alternates now? Fiona and Chase. Yeah, wonderful. And they're out there and they're rooting for you guys. Um, Raya, nice to have you on the show. Tell us about yourself. What do you do in your spare time? Um, either YouTube or Minecraft or the anime games I have on my phone. That's wonderful. And what do you hope to do someday professionally when you grow up? Um, work would be an architect like my mom 
Yeah. And sports-wise, would be a professional gymnast and a coach. Wow, you've got it all planned out. We talked about your architecture interests earlier, and you'd like to design buildings, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. And Jacob, nice to have you on the show. You want to be a lawyer someday, don't you? Yes. I was telling him he looks like a lawyer already. You know, he's got that tie, he's got the white <laughs> shirt. You're ready to step into court right now and defend yeah. somebody. How'd you get interested in the law? Well, I wanted to help the community. Yeah. Oh, when I was thinking about it, when I wanted when I was thinking about what I wanted to be when I grew up. Yeah, because uh, sometimes we need advocates. We need somebody to go to bat for us, you know, for if we're, uh, if we're sued or someone is, uh, is injured. So, I mean, that, that's a very good public service. What do you do in your spare time, Jacob? Play video games. Video games. Sound like a normal <laughs> guy to me. Good to have you on the show. And Yorktown, tell us about yourself, Gabby. Gabby, tell us your principal's name. Dr. Savoy. Wonderful. And the sponsors of your team. Ms. Parambo and Miss Morales. And they'll be out in just a few moments time here. And Aaliyah used to be the alternate. Who's your alternate now? Tristan. Tristan. Yeah, he's out there rooting for you. Great guy. He'll be out in just a few moments time. Uh, Gabby, tell me about something about Yorktown. Something great. Um, Yorktown used to have a project going called um, Recycle the Rain. Mm -hmm. So we used to recycle rainwater. Yeah, yeah. When so both of you guys are kind of green schools, mm -hmm. aren't you? That is that is the trend. You know, if we're going to we save planet green Earth, green. we better mm -hmm. keep recycling, right? Gabby, someday you're going to be a? Artist. Artist, yeah. A famous artist, yeah? Yeah. Sells things for lots of money. Yeah, and, but and preferably my favorite thing to draw is like, cute things and scary things. And scary things, because yeah. What, because, you see, because you see cute TVs in before pictures and then after pictures, they get bitten by like magma spiders or something. Oh, whoa, oh, okay, <laughs> oh, I, 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 I have a mental cool. image okay, of that. Sure, sure, that's, yeah. that's, that's great. Gabby, can I ask you one thing? Uh, would you not twist the cord so much there? Mm -hmm. It, it, yeah, that helps us out a little bit. I, I know that it's, 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 you're probably not even aware you're doing it, but that would help uh, with, uh, with the yeah, equipment there. Hungry. That's all right. Aaliyah, you want to be famous too as a chef. Yeah. Tell us something that you cook that you are proud of. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. you gotta, if you're going to be a famous chef, you've got to have a signature dish. I don't know. Okay, I what do you like be, to cook? I want to be um, uh, like broad various. I, I like appease any, um, anyone. Ooh. Okay. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't want to have a specific thing to do. Okay, that's fine. Listen, this is the time of your life where you're exploring different things, and just because adults ask you what do you want to be when you grow up, you don't have to have an answer. You know, it, there's a lot of time to figure that out. Kirik, you're a herpetologist. You got a, a boa at home, right? A, no, a python. You have a python, don't you? And uh, but that doesn't necessarily translate into a career. It could. It could. Um, what do you do in your <coughs> spare time? Um, I mostly play video games and make custom superheroes. Yeah, custom superheroes. You're a creative guy. I knew that. All right, guys, let's get back into the game. 100 for Yorktown, 75 for Scotchtown Hills. Come on, buck up. Let's have a good round here. Energy. You can give me energy for another 10 minutes, can't you? Let's do it. Okay, green. Gabby, go. Science potpourri for 10 points. All right. If you go to the beach, you can still, if you're sitting under an umbrella, still get sunburned because these kinds of rays can ricochet off the sand. Yorktown. UV. Yeah, the ultraviolet rays. They'll still get you, so don't sit under there without any sunblock on. Go again, green. Deadline signs for five. That lands us for five points. Ooh, talk about scary things. Recently, the total lunar eclipse. We saw that the red wavelengths of light came around the Earth from the sun, and they fell onto the moon, and they made the moon look like it was covered in what? Annie. Blood. Blood, yeah. Thank you, Ray. It was called the blood moon. Yeah, go red. I didn't see it either. <laughs> um, green things for five. Green things for five points. Teams. This, a stalk of this vegetable, which is often used by teachers to show how water is drawn up a stem, is considered a negative calorie food unless you put peanut butter down the center of it. Scotch Town Hill. Celery. Celery, yeah. Celery without peanut butter. Eh, not that great. Go again. Yeah. Ray said, good going, coach. Good going, captain. Go, Annie. You're up to 85. Green things for 10. Green things for 10 points. If you love chocolate like I love chocolate, then you should thank house flies because flies do this to the blossoms on the cocoa tree. 
What do they do to them, Yorktown? I can anyone. Somebody's talk among me. yourself, Scotchtown, in case they have to come to you. Have a backup answer, but talk softly. Pollinate? Pollinate, that's it, yeah, they pollinate those flowers. Again, you 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 pulled that one out of your pocket too. Go, Gabby. Um, let's get physical for five points. Let's get physical for five points. Teams, these disposable underwear for babies contain a gel, Gabby. Diapers. Diapers, yeah. There's a gel in there, a water gel that solidifies when the baby, you know, pees its pants. Go again, green. Green things for 15. Green things for 15 points. All right, teams. Imagine a 138-pound cabbage or a 35-pound head of broccoli. You would find those in this state where at certain times during the year, the sun shines for 20 hours a day. Name that state. Alabama. Gabby. Alabama. Not Alabama. Scotchtown Hills. What state in our union at certain times of the year has the sun shining for 20 hours a day, which is why they can grow these freaky vegetables. California. Alaska. Alaska, up there in the North Pole, the land of the midnight sun. Go green. I meant Alaska. Don't argue among um, yourselves, but just, just take your time. Zoo parade for five, 15 points. Zoo parade for 15 points. All right, teams, there is a new animal program on the National Geo Channel, and its title is this outer body covering that you find on reptiles and fish. Scales. Scales, yeah, that's in any. It's called Scaled. Good show. Two, go. Body systems for 15. Body systems for 15 points. Teams, the wounds on your body that heal the fastest are the ones found inside your what, which is sometimes called your buccal cavity. Inside your what? Teeth. Annie. Teeth. <laughs> mm, give me more. Um, gums. Mm. Judges, yes, we're going to give that to you. Inside your mouth, wounds inside your mouth. If you bite your tongue or you bite the side of your cheek, that uh, heals more quickly than any other. Go red. Go ahead. Let's get physical for 15. Physical for 15 points. All right, teams, uh, your question is as follows. There's a new book out called Backyard Ballistics, and it teaches kids like you how to make potato cannonballs. You use hairspray as a propellant, and it illustrates Newton's second law of motion, which is what? You got a potato cannon. What is the second law of motion? Wait, wait, wait. What did he say? What did he say? What did he say? Second law of motion. All right, Yorktown. Go ahead. Who's going to be the spokesperson here? Kirik. Oh, Kirik. Um. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. Sometimes it's hard to put it into words. Scotch Sun Hills, do you have an answer for me? Gravity. Second law of motion. Go ahead. Gravity. Not gravity. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Sorry. Go red. Go red. Zoo parade for 20. Zoo parade for 20 points. All right, teams. This is pretty awful. Sometimes an ant will sacrifice its own life to save the rest of the colony by exploding this third part of its body. Abdomen. Abdomen, that's exactly right. Kills the predator and it kills the ant itself. Go green. Mm, Dateline science for 20. Dateline, 20 points. All right, teams, your question is as follows. A lot of you remember when Galileo performed that experiment. He took two different weights and he stood on top of a tower and he dropped them and they both hit the ground at the same time. He did that in what Italian city where there was Annie? The Leaning Tower of Pisa. That's it. The Leaning Tower of Pisa. That's what I was listening for. Good answer. Good teamwork over there, Red Team. Go. Look at that score. 145, 135. It's a nail biter. Go, Annie. Body systems for 20. Body systems for 20. Body systems for 20 points. Teams, the lifespan of this cell is just four months. There are millions of them in your body. Those are sometimes called erythrocytes. They're made inside the marrow of your bone, and they contain hemoglobin. What body cells am I talking about? Yorktown. 
blood cells? More specifically. T um, white, white blood cells? No, no ma'am. Scotchtown Hills. What kind of blood cells are also known as erythrocytes are made in the body's bone marrow and contain hemoglobin? Scotchtown Hills. What you got? Correct answer is red blood cells. Red blood cells. Go again, red. Don't beat yourself up. You gotta say it or you can't earn it. Any pick. No violence over there. Science poetry for 20. Potpourri for 20 points. All right, teams, your question is as follows. If you watch cartoons, you know that there's a cartoon where the coyote is always trying to catch the roadrunner and never does it. And he tries all kinds of explosives. He tries nitroglycerin, he tries TNT, and he tries this most best known explosive, Yorktown. Dynamite? Dynamite, yeah. The bird never gets caught. Go. Meet me. Um, green things for 20. Green things for 20 points. Teams, if you're trying to improve the soil in your garden and keep out the weeds, you can add manure or bark chips or cut grass. All of those things are considered what kind of M initialed covering? What kind of M initialed covering do gardeners put out there that include those things? Yes, ma'am. Mulch. Mulch, that's it, good, go. Um, let's, get physical. let's get physical for 20. Physical for 20 points. Teams, you talk about global warming because this planet is surrounded by clouds. It is the hottest of all the planets. Yorktown. Venus. 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 Aaliyah, you got it. Nailed it. Good. Go. Green. Um, Dateline Science for 25. Dateline Science for 25 points. Teams, my favorite TV show is The Big Bang Theory, and it has featured a lot of famous scientists like Bill Nye, the science guy, like the late Stephen J. Hawking, and this man with three names, a famous physicist who hosts a show called Cosmos. Who's that other famous scientist for 25 points? He is Neil deGrasse Tyson. Go again, green. Um, science potpourri for 25. Potpourri for 25 points. Teams, this year's winner of the International Science and Engineering Fair, they won $75,000 for it, was an autonomous window washer that has sprays and nozzles, and it hovers next to a skyscraper and can withstand mile, uh, 25 mile per hour wind gusts. What kind of self-flying device is it? Scotchtown Hills. Helicopter? Not a helicopter, no. Yorktown? Drone. What kind of self-flying device are we talking about? Drone. A drone, yeah, a drone is what it is. All right, three questions left. Still anybody's game. Gabby, go. Green things for 25. Green things for 25, big one in that category. Mosses are very simple plants. They have no stems, no roots, no xylem, no phloem, no leaves, but they can photosynthesize because they have this green pigment to help make food. Yorktown. Chloroplast. Yeah, mm, chloroplast, chloroplast I will take, yes. Chlorophyll or chloroplast, yes ma'am, go. Zooparade for 25. Zooparade for 25 points. Sadly, the National Zoo had to put down its resident gibbon the other day. The word that they use is euthanize, to kill an animal in the zoo. I'll give you 25 points if you can spell euthanize. E-U-T-H-A-N-I-Z-E. Yes, ma'am. You got it. Euthanize it is. The buzzer says our game is over, and it looks like Yorktown has a chance to be county champs after 20 years. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Science, but what a game. We expected it to be special, and it was. Our final tally today, Scotchtown Hills 155, Yorktown 260. Yorktown, congratulations. You're going to the semifinals to play Glen Arden Woods. Maybe a new county championship, huh? First step. Kirik and Gabby and Aaliyah and Tristan, congratulations, young man. You're a delight to have on the show here. Miss Parambo and Miss Morales, congratulations to you. And a round of applause for Scotchtown Hills. Jacob and Annie and Rhea and Fiona and Chase, congratulations. You guys couldn't have played a better game here. Miss Taylor, Miss Harvey, congratulations to you. Please come back and play again. And would you please come back and watch us again on Science Bowl? I'm Dave Zare, and I'll see you then. Bye bye.